Okay, this video is about uh, putting a macro capability to this uh, Seek Thermal Camera. Uh, if you look at the inset video, uh, you'll see that basically it's a pretty blurry affair. Uh, and that's because the lens on this uh, module is really meant for sort of home inspection type distances, 10, 15 feet, focus as well. Obviously, I'm trying to point the camera down upon a uh, small integrated circuit, and uh, it's um, just too close, so it's a very blurry thing. Now, uh, there is a possibility of putting a lens on the camera, of course, and uh, one can create a very sharp image uh, very easily uh, once the lens is in place. Uh, all of a sudden, you can start seeing things like all the leads again uh, and get much more accurate videos, uh, which is great. So, uh, we'll take a look at what kind of lens that is. We'll take a look at the very interesting fitting. It's very trivial. Uh, even actually, the stand actually for uh, iPhones is um, something you have to cobble together from a bunch of camera bits. So, uh, as you expect with any camera, you should uh, put a lens in front of it. You would expect then, of course, you can create a macro mode. Uh, and, of course, here's the first interesting phenomenon of thermal cameras that uh, quickly becomes apparent. Uh, normal optical glass like this simply does not pass long wave infrared. It uh, actually reflects it. So, uh, you cannot use this kind of lens uh, to create a macro mode. However, uh, there are at least good, three good choices out there for lenses which do pass uh, long wave. This is something called a, a zinc selenide. Uh, I'll sh pop up the eBay listing in a second here, but when you put it in front of the camera lens, you can see um, it continues to pass the long wave infrared. Now, the one I got was uh, meant for uh, CO2 lasers, or at least it was listed under CO2 lasers. Uh, I think it was like $14. And uh, that, of course, is the building block for creating a macro mode for this camera. Uh, the next building block is to create a little holder for it, and obviously it's made out of foam. And uh, let's just pop up a quick video how that was created. Uh, very simple. Uh, so the building block for uh, my little lens holder is just simply a rigid foam. Uh, this is meant for insulating homes. Uh, it's a rigid polystyrene. And uh, you can see I cut out a piece here and then uh, went off to my drill press. So this is a special kind of drill bit called a Forstner bit. It does a very nice hole. And it drills through these rigid polystyrene very cleanly. You get a nice clean hole out of it. Uh, it's three quarter inches in diameter, which is just slightly undersized to the lens itself. So the only other thing you need to do is just uh, get a very sharp uh, blade and cut the uh, excess off so you have nice clean edges. This assembly is rather trivial. It's just a friction fit. The hole is just slightly uh, narrower than the, the lens and the uh, outer casing of the camera. Uh, put the lens into the foam and then uh, put the foam over the lens opening, uh, push the lens down and uh, basically have an adapter. And obviously it's, it's infinitely reversible. You just pop it off when you're not uh, doing a macro mode. And uh, there you go. That's the lens solution. So the next bit of kit, uh, you need a selfie stick. This is the sort of thing people use to uh, take photographs of themselves. Um, this one in particular, though, caught my eye because it has a quarter-inch, 20-thread per inch uh, fitting on this side here, which is the uh, standard camera mount. And uh, so it'll hold the phone nice and stable. The reason you need this is you need to have the phone relatively stable when you do macro uh, photography. It's a fairly close-in and uh, short-distance work. Uh, the other thing, of course, is then you need some way of mounting that camera. That'll mount to any standard tripod. Uh, I was mounting on the desk there with a... Um, a Manfrotto um, clamp system and then a um, basically a clone of their magic arm. It's a slightly smaller version of the magic arm, but it allows you to sort of put the uh, camera exactly where you'd like it. Uh, so for complete list, let me just uh, go through all the listings I went through. Um, here's the listing it was from Amazon of the selfie stick. Uh, here's the listing for the lens again. And uh, the final bit of kit, uh, here's the clamp from Manfrotto. And uh, here is one of the clones of their magic arm. You can probably also use the Manfrotto magic arm. It's uh, got a nice longer reach as well. So uh, a slightly like, more expensive bit of uh, material, however. Okay, so uh, trivial bits of pieces. And uh, now this Seek thermal camera is ready to do macro photography for electronics, which is uh, one of my end goals.